of your word on the time. You're right on. Uh, just oh, a quick, yeah. one, quick one, Brad, here with Brad Yetman of the Rwanda Randa Huskies, a Quebec Major Junior Hockey League draft. That is tonight, starts tonight, and you got two ra- rounds, two through 14 tomorrow, uh, presented by FanPlast. will be on YouTube later this evening. I'll post a link in the description. Brad, where are you guys drafting tonight, and what do you got for capital in this first round? Well, we're, we're currently drafting sixth overall, which is – the highest that uh, the Huskies are going to be picking in a number of years. Uh, so for us, we're really excited with the opportunity for the player that we're going to get. Uh, we're definitely, uh, you know, looking forward to see how the first five picks play out. We did own the 10 overall pick, but we made a deal to flip that to Ramuski for Edward Cornoye, who's a 20 year old defenseman who fills a, a big gap that we need on the back end in terms of experience and a left-handed shot and so on. So, you know, it's a, it's a very exciting time. So for us, uh, we're going from the first true kind of year of a, of a rebuild, so to speak, uh, so that uh, we're, we're excited to see where the next year leads us, especially after the trades that were announced over the weekend. No, that's awesome. And actually, uh, that will parlay into the next question I was going to ask you will be you guys made some moves here. You were wheeling and dealing as the trade period just opened a couple of days ago. Let's talk about some of the players that you got and, some, and what you had to give up. Yeah, absolutely. So just uh, obviously for us, it's a, it's a tough thing to see, see players go. I mean, every single team will talk about that. Uh, for us, we ended up trading our, our three 19-year-olds from last year who would have been our three 20-year-olds this year and Alex Arsenal, Tom Belzil, and Samuel Johnson. Um, but then we picked up three new 20-year-olds in Tristan Allard, Thomas Kutcher, and like I said, Edward Cornoye. And we, we feel that as a, as a group of 20s to 20-year-olds that we picked up now are going to really help us a lot more in different areas that we really needed to improve on, especially with the 20-year-old goalie in Kutcher after having Sam Richard last year, arguably, you know, best goalie in the league. So for, for that aspect, and then uh, to be moving out uh, Jared Cosman, uh, Jordan Cote, Zachary Marquis Laflamme. Uh, there were three guys who were a bit underutilized this year and they'll have a chance to play a little bit more in, in the coming years or be closer to home. Uh, but uh, we need to make some space. Uh, we, we have a lot of 17 going to be looking for spots this year and obviously with the sixth overall pick that's another place that needs to be filled. So we're really excited with that and obviously with the uh, addition of Kyle Hagen also who's from Black St. Louis, a goaltender, 17 year old who We'll have a good chance to, to start the year with us and potentially uh, work out a good partnership with Couture. So uh, a lot of great moves made by our GM and our assistant GM, and it really builds on the future. And you can really see a, a bright spot moving forward for this year and, and for a couple more years after that to come. Yeah, you guys really put a priority on goaltender in the last couple of days, especially losing Richard, who is going to UMB. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, uh, he, he's currently – well, he will be going this weekend to Vancouver's development camp. So if that can parlay into something in the AHL, then he might explore that opportunity. But if not, he'll be going to UMB. Yeah, he was great for you guys. And that's going to be, I guess, the pillar of your, of your team, picking up Couture and now picking up Hagen, who was a first-round pick last year over Muski, yeah. you know, 15th or 16th overall. So obviously you guys putting a, a premium on goaltending for sure. Uh, and what, what kind of day is this like for you, Brad? I mean, this is your – you know, a draft, you were in it as a player many years ago, drafted in, I'm going to say second round, third round. Fifth. Fifth. I tell you, yeah. I'm getting old. My memory's starting to go a little bit, but a while again, ago, like, you're, you've seen it as a player. What's this day like as a coach? Well, uh, from, I remember from even with uh, myself, my two brothers, that uh, the day has changed a little bit uh, for, for the player. I remember back when we were going through our draft that 16 year olds first year or 15 first year eligible players were only allowed to be drafted in, in a certain number of rounds for myself and Mark it was the first five rounds. And then for Nathan, it was the first eight rounds, I believe it was. And then after that, it was only second year eligible guys. So I remember I was 15 picks. I, I can't remember how many it was, but I think 15 picks away from not getting drafted that first year. So it was a bit stressful to say the least mom and dad would be able to agree with that. So, um, it's it's definitely a, an exciting time and you know everyone you know it, it's really important not to put the focus on where you get drafted uh, in terms of overall or whatnot it's just being able to get your opportunity even if you're not drafted there's still a lot of guys who play in our league that are invited uh, it's going to be my fourth year with the Huskies now I think over the last three years we had seven eight guys who were only invites who who made our team so 
uh, you know, it, it's definitely a big thing to stay patient and know that everyone's development reaches a certain or a different aspect. But as a coach or as a, as a staff member, I guess you could say, it's, it's, it's really exciting um, to, to be a scout in the league at one point as well, to see it from that side of things. For me now as a coach, I don't do much. I just sit back and wait to call the guy that we draft. But uh, it, it's still very exciting to see the, all the hard work that the scouts do and management does throughout the year and how they have their lists and if they're able to get guys in certain spots that they want to and how those guys show up at camp. And, you know, it's, it's really exciting. So it's definitely going to be a fun night tonight to have the first round and then to have the, the rest of the rounds tomorrow and, and see what happens. And I'll, also to be able to keep an eye on the, the Newfoundland Labrador-born players to see where they may end up. It's always a good uh, good sense of pride when you see those players being taken as well so a couple tonight and hopefully uh, a few more tomorrow yeah and actually just want to mention brad's family a super underrated hockey family here in newfoundland one of the most underrated of all time in my opinion you've got three players that have played major junior hockey so that's absolutely unreal um brad uh, brad played with um Shawinigan. you had uh, mark playing with halifax and Nathan, who played with the PEI Rocket at the time. So three players in that one family. I don't think there's a whole lot of families in Newfoundland history that have had three players play and be successful at that level. So congratulations to you, Brad. Uh, super excited to uh, watch you draft this year and, and see, uh, see what the, uh, I guess, the beginning of this season, how it unfolds for you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. I know there's a, a really good buzz around our city. It's a great hockey city with some great fans who are, who are hungry for a couple more cups. So we're, we're certainly hoping to build that next team to be able to make that happen for them. Yeah, and maybe, a, a, you know, Travis Crickard as an, as an assistant with yep. the Sea Dogs. I mean, you want to be another Newfoundland coach would be able to win that Memorial Cup someday. I certainly hope that I see you hoisting that thing someday soon. And with this draft, hopefully this is a kind of a foundation that you can build with it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really appreciate it. All right, buddy. Well, I'll catch you later. Uh, have a great night uh, tonight, and I'm sure I'll be chatting with you in the next few days. Yeah, for sure. Take care. Thanks again. See you, Brad.